Hello again. Today's fly is going to be a pheasant tail and uh, we've done pheasant tails before but this is a long shank pheasant tail. In our system we have numerous kinds of fe uh, mayflies. Now the last pheasant tail was on a short shank hook. This one is on a long hook. This is probably a 2312 uh, Umqua hook. Used to be partridge, now it's Umqua. And uh, it's 2X long, it's not as heavy a hook as the last one. I'm putting on a black nickel bead head. I'm using red thread again. What this represents, and in, in your mayflies, you have four categories of mayflies. You've got your clingers, your crawlers, your swimmers, and your burrowers. Now, this is a swimmer because it's a long-bodied fly. So, the clingers and the, uh, what do you call... I forgot what it was. Crawlers and clingers. They're really short mayflies. So this one being a swimmer, the burrower and the swimmer are longer mayflies. So you actually tie them on longer hooks and they will act differently in the river. They actually swim faster. The crawlers and clingers hang around the rocks and they will sometimes um, get knocked off the rocks and tumble along in the river bottom and stuff. But these swimmers actually move along quite fast and they actually swim to the surface when they're going to hatch. So you actually have to use them a little differently. And you actually, when you're fishing it, you give it little bumps and tugs. You fish it in a different column of water quite often you'll fish it in a back eddy and uh, the short ones work also but these ones work a little bit better and that's maybe one of the reasons I do use it quite often in our in our river system I use this longer shank mayfly and uh, as we all evolve into fly fishers we wonder why these things work and what goes on what I didn't mention is I'm using a gold wire for the rib I've tied on the tail quite bushy there I probably used eight or ten fibers of uh, pheasant tail I'm gonna wrap the wire absolutely always backwards against the grain of the of the pheasant and I'm gonna go all the way up to the front again I go once or twice around in front of the thread and then I can secure that wire down this being a little bit longer mayfly nymph I like to put a hood on it and again a lot of my flies you're gonna notice I put a lot of this crinkle flash pearl flashaboo onto my flies now when I'm putting this on and securing it I will actually give it a good sized hood the next product is going to be my prism, my black prism. I'm going to wrap that onto the thread nice and tight. Wrap that around the thorax. And because I'm using a fine 6 aught thread, I can actually go in and out of the product, the dubbing, and secure it a little tighter. That'll hold it in place. Pull the hood over, secure the hood. A 
cut off the excess, do our whip finish, glue the head, and we have what I call is a long bodied pheasant tail swimmer style. It's got the flashaboo on it, it's got a nice tail. I I have added legs. I haven't found it's as valuable as the time it takes to put them on. So I'm going to just work with it this way. It's been working very well. I find instead of the gold bead head, this black bead head, certain days black works better than gold and other days gold works better than black. So you got to tie it in both colors and sizes. Now I tie it in a 16, a 14. This is a size 12 hook. And I saw it tied in a size 10. So it's up to you to decide which one you want to fish and which one you want to tie. I would probably go with uh, what Alf Davy says. You need six flies of each size, of each color, of each kind. So you would need uh, 24 of these flies in this color because you need 16s, 14s, 12s, and 10s. And then you go to the gold bead head and you need another 24 of these. So you tie it with the gold bead head in those sizes. Now, when you're si tying, you match the size of bead to the size of the hook that you're using. This one is a smaller bead. I didn't want to overbuild the bead head on this one to actually overdo the whole system with the bead. I wanted it to be kind of a non-visible bead. And uh, that's that's what I've done with this one. So that's the, the swimmer style pheasant tail matching the swimming mayfly nymph.